Hi there, this is Dr. DeAndrea Matthews, and I wanted to share with you today 10 parts of a book's front matter. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in and get started. For those of you who don't know me, I am the president and founder of Claire Alden Publications, a hybrid publishing company that is a member of the Independent Book Publishers Association and is also Better Business Bureau accredited. So thank you for joining me today. The 10 parts of a Books front matter starts, of course, with your title page. Now, a lot of times you'll have a single title page and occasionally a publisher will decide to do a half title page as well. So you'll typically see the full title page, which includes the title and or subtitle of the book, the author's names, the editor, if it's an anthology, and then also the name of the publisher and location, which is typically the city and state where it was published. So the half title page, if it's included, is included for autographs so that you don't have to write on the very front page of the book. Typically a half title page is included with just the title, subtitle, author's name for autographs. The second part of the front matter is the copyright page. So the copyright page is typically the next page, the very next page, and it includes the copyright date, which is the, typically the year, the copyright holder's name, the edition number, if it's a multiple edition book or multiple volumes. It also has either the Library of Congress control number or the cataloging and publication data. It also has the publisher name and contact information, your 13-digit international standard book number, which is better known as your ISBN. You also want to include any credits for artwork, illustrations, designs, waivers, or disclaimers, particularly if you're quoting, uh, for example, from the Bible, you'll want to record the translation that you're using and the appropriate copyright data. The third item in the book's front matter is the dedication. Now, the dedication is optional, but it is a place where you can give honor and esteem to anyone who you want to actually dedicate the book itself to. The fourth item is your endorsements. Endorsements are also optional, but it's a great way of expanding the author's audience as well as Again, establishing a little bit of credibility. What it does is it allows you to request the endorsement from someone. Typically, it's more than one person. Um, I've seen as little as two or three up to like 25. But you can request endorsements from anyone that you want to. But the endorsements typically are requested from someone with a reputation in the same industry as the title or the topic of the book. For example, if you're writing about historical fiction, then it would be requested typically from someone Someone who is an established author or established expert in the area of historical fiction. Number five in your book's front matter would be your table of contents. Your table of contents simply lists the chapter titles and subtitles only, as well as, of course, the page number. Number six in your parts of a book's front matter are your list of figures or tables. Again, the list of figures and tables is optional. If you don't have any figures or tables in your book, then obviously you would not need it. But if you do have figures or tables in your book, it's a good idea to include that list in the beginning in this order. So number seven for your book's front matter is your foreword. Now your foreword is optional. However, the foreword should be written by someone other than the author. So the foreword really lets you know why you should read the book. It also serves as an introduction to the subject matter or the scope of the book itself. Now that's different from number eight, which is your preface or some people say preface. The preface is optional. But the preface is really the how and the why of the book. The preface is an introduction to the book by the author. So it's separate from the body of work or the literary work itself. And it gives information that will hopefully draw readers in to want to read the book. It also offers some information about the author's experience writing the book or inspiration behind the book, the writing process, the purpose of the book itself from the author's perspective, or its historical context if that's appropriate. So that's your preface. Number nine out of your 10 parts of your book's front matter, number nine are your acknowledgements. Your acknowledgements also are optional. I've also seen the acknowledgements at the back of the book. So this is one of those um, elements that changes depending on uh, who you're listening to. Many people prefer it in the front matter. Some people have it as a part of the back matter, but the acknowledgements are optional. 
optional. And again, the acknowledgements is a little bit different from the dedication. The dedication is dedicating that book, giving honor and esteem to a certain person. The acknowledgements really is acknowledging anyone who has assisted in the process. And that could be the process of writing the book, editing the book, publishing the book, helping to market the book, any of those aspects where you want to give someone some type of acknowledgements. And then number 10 of 10 parts of your book's front matter would be your introduction. So your introduction is optional. And I know there may be some questions as to the difference between a preface and an introduction. Well, the introduction is actually written by the author and it's about the book's subject matter. So whereas the preface is the how and the why of the book, the introduction is the what. So it's about the actual subject matter of the book. It is considered a part of the literary work itself. For example, as you are sending your manuscript in for copyright, you'll want to include the introduction in that since it is by the author and it is considered a part of the literary work itself. But the introduction, again, is the what of the book and it may cover some of the main topics and lets the readers know what to expect in the book itself. So very quickly, I'll go back over our 10 parts of your book's front matter. The first thing we talked about was your title page. Number two, copyright page. Number three, dedication. Number four, endorsements. Number five, your table of contents. Number six, your list of figures or tables. Number seven, your forward. Number eight, your preface. Number nine, your acknowledgments. And number 10, your introduction. I just wanted to share with you the 10 parts of your book's front matter because a lot of times those elements get confusing. You don't know what to include. You don't know what not to include. You don't really understand the differences between many of these elements. So I hope that this video is helpful. Again, this is Dr. DeAndrea Matthews the president and founder of Clear Alden Publications. Thanks for tuning in and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take care.